Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Thiago. I work for Naiwan. Uh, it's a Brazilian company. I, I will talk about the, the company uh, a bit further um, in, in a few minutes. Hello, everybody. I'm Bruno Gomez. I am a technical director at Nanopoxy, another Brazilian company. So, uh, Naiwan, like I said, is a Brazilian company which is creating uh, disruptive innovation through nanotechnology. Uh, we, we are a business unit of uh, Random Corp. Random Corp is the biggest Brazilian OEM for semi trailers. And uh, Naiwan was born for uh, creating and brings, uh, bring a technological competitiveness to, to Handon Corp by adding technology to its, uh, to its uh, uh, products, like semi-trailers and, and other, other products but also to bring uh, disruptive solutions in nanotechnology for the, the market. Here I have Bruno with me. He will talk a little bit about uh, Nanopoxy. Nanopoxy is a Brazilian chemical company specialized in epoxy resin. We develop a, a wide of a range of... Uh, sorry. <laughs> We develop uh, uh, a lot of the types of uh, resins uh, for the many markets, including composites. The motto in, in I1 is to turn uh, products and processes into their best versions through nanotechnology. And as we are working together uh, with Nanopoxy in this project, we'll show you here. Uh, the motto changed a bit. So together we turn resin products into their best versions through nanotechnology. The, the idea here is to uh, turn nanopoxy products but uh, to, to all the markets in composite markets. Can you see the, I don't know if you can see the, the difference here between these two images. But uh, I'll give you 10 seconds to, to check the differences we have between the images. Uh, it's not the mesh direction. It's not the mesh wave. In the, in the left image, we have the neat resin. And in the right image, we have uh, the nanostructure resin. And if you can't see the difference, it's because there's no visible difference about them. Uh, just to, to give some uh, information here, nanoniobium is a white product. So there is a, a huge uh, importance for us to maintain the, the, the transparency of the of the resin, so as you can see, it's fully transparent, even the nanostructure resin. And what we did, and you, you will see in, in depth in, at the end of the presentation, uh, we made a UV, A, and B resistant and tougher resin using niobium nanotechnology. So, uh, Many of the innovation in the world, in the human history, uh, was, uh, was inspired by nature. From uh, aircrafts to ships, from planes to drones. Uh, as you can see here in the screen, uh, uh, highly hydro uh, hydrophobic materials. Uh, planes that... Uh, break the, the sound barrier easily. And uh, one of the coolest applications I saw in my career is this one promoted by Frasli, uh, a, a company of Frasli called Compos, which was inspired by uh, the bra three branches, okay? Uh, 
this, uh, this part is uh, a semi-trailer part to, to hold uh, plastic parts and it was made uh, of steel. And in this case, we have a fully, uh, a fully composite part which uh, took took from uh, took uh, uh, extract mass from the um, from the application in terms of uh, 60% something like 60% of uh, mass reduction in in this uh, application i'm sorry about the configuration here uh, what makes nanotechnology so special in terms of uh, additives? Because we have, especially for polymers, we have a very good uh, uh, additive technology. But in, in case of uh, nanotechnology, we cannot call it a, a simple additive. What makes us what we are, what makes everything what they are, uh, it's the it's a matter, okay? And when we speak about matter, uh, the scale matters a lot. Sorry about the the similarity of words, but uh, the scale of matters matter matters a lot, okay? So in the macro scale, we have the predominance of fundamental force, uh, the the gravity as a fundamental force, and at the nanoscale, the gravity uh, loses control on the matter, and we have the control of uh, electromagnetism, okay? So what we are doing by uh, nanostructuring uh, uh, a polymer is to uh, exchange this polymer, is to transform this polymer into something else. So. Uh, when we, when we use uh, nanoniobium, for instance, for uh, nanostructuring epoxy resin, I cannot call it uh, epoxy resin anymore. I need to uh, start calling it uh, nanostructured epoxy resin by nanoniobium or by carbon uh, or whatever. So in this case, when we use an additive, a simple additive, the problem is we have uh, a trade-off on properties because you will improve a property by adding a, a, a simple additive, but you lose the properties on, on something else, okay? If you improve the mechanical resistance, you can lose on chemical resistance or uh, lose on, on, I don't know, the, fr the free energy on, of this material. So uh, the idea of using nanotechnology is to improve the, the material without losing other, other properties. And what Naiwan offers to the market? Naiwan is uh, offering a master batch of nanoniobium to use in this case, in epoxy, but we we have other master batches that uh, that are suitable for thermoset and thermoplastic polymers. Okay, so uh, the nanoniobium itself has up to fifteen thousand uh, square meter per gram of specific surface area, forty nanometer average particle diameter. This is customizable. I can work from 5 nanometer to 500 nanometer. This is due to the, the application. Uh, this nanoparticle is functionalizable. So uh, if we do not have a very good uh, uh, interaction between the nanoniobium and the, the polymer matrix, we can functionalize this uh, nanoniobium to improve the, the, the interaction between them. It's an adjustable degree of crystallinity because, as you know, uh, the, the niobium uh, comes in, 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 a, in an oxide um, uh, it's, a, it's, a no, it's a metal oxide material, okay? So we can adjust the crystallinity to improve uh, some properties such as 
thermal conductivity or the interaction between the matrix and, and the, the nanoparticle. And what's best here about this master batch of nanoniobium from Ni1 is that we need only up to 200 ppm to transform simple polymers into smart composites, okay? So uh, I'll leave to Bruno to speak a little bit about the, the mechanical properties we, we achieved by using nanoniobium in his uh, resin. So let's cut the chase and get the case study. Nion, nion and nanopox ha have been worked together to nanostructure both laminate resins and infusion resins. In this case, we bring the results of lamination resin uh, at this the project that most advanced in the moment. As you can see here in the in the presentation, in the in the left graph, we we show you the this is a DMTA graph, okay? The elastic modulus is 23% higher by using only a few ppms of nanoniobium. And what's best is that we maintain the, the glass temperature, uh, the glass transition temperature. And uh, this uh, tell us that the material is tougher. When we speak about the UV resistance, like I said, that there in, in the beginning of our presentation, we get that uh, we, we have a 55% more resistant uh, resin to UV, UVB and UVA, as you can see here. And if you take a look at the right, you will see that uh, from the spots marked with an arrow, we have room for, for improvement yet. Because if we improve the, the dispersion of the material, and uh, like, like you see on the highlighted area, if we have that, that condition of uh, dispersion, we, we have room to improve the UV resistance and the, the mechanical resistance, as you saw. Um. We also carry out a simple practical test to confirm this. And, and that was uh, exposed to this, the sun, present a, a spectacular resistance and confirm that the UVV spectrum. Uh, it's not here on the presentation as we have some time yet, uh, but today we, we received a new a new, a new test uh, result for uh, tension, uh, resistance, and flexural resistance as well. What we saw is that the tension, the tension resistance is uh, maintained with the, the, uh, by adding nanoniobium. And what we saw on the flexural resistance is that improved a lot over time. We exposed these, uh, these specimens to UV light and salt spray, both uh, on the same chamber. And after that, we, we made the, the flexural resistance and we saw that the, the neat resin uh, lost a lot of properties on, on flexural. And we saw that the additive nanostructured non res uh, resins kept the, the, the flexural resistance as the, the original one, okay? So, in conclusion, what we saw here is a fully transparent resin, which is important for uh, outside applications or carbon fiber applications, for visual, uh, uh, visual applications. A 23% tougher resin 55% more resistant to UV radiation resin. And with this information, we start to call this smart nanocomposite, uh, this, this nanocomposite as, as, as a smart because it adapts to its environment. 
Other tests ongoing is chemical resistance, accelerated aging, like I said, is, uh, is done. It's, uh, we, we received today the, the results. Abrasion resistance, scratch, uh, scratch resistance. Just as, uh, uh, as an example, in uh, ceramic printing ink, we found 18,000% increase in surface hardness of this uh, printing ink, just by adding a few ppm of nanoniobium. And thermal conductivity. Hey, Thiago, it's, uh, if you have more time, it's important to mention that we also have uh, conducted other tests at the moment. Uh, we are currently performing thermal analysis using a DSCC for epoxy infusion system. And the first results from the various post curing conditions are showing an increase in uh, glass transition resistance. Nice. What is important here, guys, is that uh, Nanopoxy is performing tests with uh, infusion resins and uh, laminating resins. In this case, was the laminating resins for uh, naval and marine applications. But uh, the, the objective here is to improve resins to go to uh, aerospace and other applications in, in extreme environments, okay? So if you have any questions, we have a, a few minutes uh, left. And if you want to, to contact us, you can read the, the QR that uh, you get our emails and, and phones and everything. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.